Okay, let's go ahead and start. Now, um, what I want to begin with today is a quick review of material from our last meeting. And I have uh, some new slides that I've added to that collection. So we want to start with the description of a network flow problem. We're going to go through this quickly because this is all stuff that we, we saw last time. You have a directed graph with distinguished vertices, a source denoted S and a sink denoted T. Now, in all the textbook examples, uh, I use letters, in particular capital letters for vertices, and, and I put numbers on the weights. Because if you use integers all the time, you just got a picture full of integers, and it's, it's visually hard to see what's going on. But a computer is not troubled by this. And so any coding of a network flow problem will almost certainly use integers for vertices. OK. A flow in a network is an assignment of non-negative numbers to the edges. The flow on an edge can never exceed the capacity of the edge. And then you have these conservation laws. There's a certain amount leaving the source, and that's equal to the amount arriving at the sink. And in every internal vertex, the amount in equals the amount out. The value of the flow is the amount which leaves the source which again is the same as the amount that arrives at the sink. So the goal <clears throat> in this work is to find a maximum flow. We want to do it efficiently, and we want to be able to defend our answer at the end and say, this is provably the correct answer. 